Hello. Today we do a differential equation. Here is the question. Solve dy by dx plus a square root 1 minus y square over 1 minus x square equals 0. We want to solve this differential equations. Let's rewrite the differential equation. This can be written, rewrite, multiply this denominator to the whole equation. I have 1 minus x square square root dy. plus 1 minus y square dx equals 0. We just change this given differential equation to this form. Remember this, the product rule. The product, the derivative of a product u over v is u prime v minus v prime u. Oh, sorry. The derivative of u times v is u prime v plus v prime u. Now, let's consider this. Let's consider the differential of a product. d This is a product. The square root times y, it's a product. The differential of this is this times y plus Let's consider this as u, this is v. So d u times v is du times v plus dv 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 times u. Then look, this is this part. So this part is what? I can write this part as one minus x squared dy. This part is this part. This part is this minus this. This d this okay. Why d this? Uh, to make it clearer, 
it is better to put a bracket here. Okay. Now, let me see. I can do this part. So this is this, minus y. Differential of this, y times, y times one half. This is one half power. Then you have to subtract one. One half subtract one is negative one half. So it goes to the bottom. Goes to the denominator. Followed by chain rule, the differential of the inside, the differential of 1 is 0, the differential of negative x squared is negative 2x. And you have dx, right? So this is what you have. Similarly, <clears throat> I can consider this part similar to this. This part is a part of the differential of the whole thing. So I, have, I can write this part. I am skipping I am skipping the detail of that. Just follow the result of this part. It's similar. X becomes Y, Y becomes X. So this is D. Remember, X, this Y corresponds to the X here, and this X corresponds to Y here. So I just change the X to Y, Y to X. Minus, change y to x, times, times 1 over 2, times 1 minus y square. And minus 2y. and the dy. Do you follow? It's similar to similar to this, similar to this. So this plus that is this plus that. So this plus that is equal to this part plus this part. So I have this plus this. is equal to this plus that plus this Minus this, minus this, minus, uh, let me simplify this, 2 and 2 cancel, 2 and 2 cancel, negative, negative becomes positive, and the numerator is xy, so it's positive, 
xy dx the denominator is square root 1 minus x squared and this is similar 2 and 2 cancels negative negative becomes positive the numerator is xy it's plus the numerator is x plus xy and then this is dy one minus y squared and the whole thing is equal to zero right oh wait a minute This is equal to this, this is equal to this plus this, and this whole thing is equal to zero, so it's equal to zero. Uh, let me see this, okay. Yeah, so, so I have this equals zero. So I have D, I just write this part, this plus this equals zero. plus plus this part look xy xy i can factor out xy so i have dx over that plus dy over that equals zero. Let's do common denominator of this. Oops. Uh, I'm just become lazy. x, y, do common denominator. Then I have square root 1 minus y square dx plus uh, I'm sorry that my pen is too thick and my space is limited, so you don't see it very clearly. But can you barely follow what I'm writing? Look at the numerator. 1 minus y squared dx plus 1 minus x squared dy. Here, 1, one minus y squared dx plus 1 minus x squared dy. What is this? Equals 0. So this numerator is equal to 0, which means the whole term here is equal to 0. Therefore, okay, I, my paper is too low here, you don't see it. What I'm saying is that this part is zero because this 
because this is zero. So the numerator is zero, therefore this term is zero. So what is left is this. So I rewrite what is left now. So this part is zero now. Then you can integrate this. The differential of this plus the differential of this is zero. Therefore, what is this part? Oh, no. The differential of this plus the differential of this is zero. So the differential of the differential of this plus this is zero. Differential of what is zero? Differential of constant is zero. Therefore, this has to be constant. So, the answer is this is constant. y times the square root of 1 minus x squared plus x times the square root of 1 minus y squared is a constant. So, this is your answer. And this, this answer means this is the solution of the differential equation. In some part of this work, I uh, didn't show the detail. I hope you can follow. So that is today's differential equation. How do you solve it? I use the differential concept to solve this problem. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. And I will give you more differential equation uh, next time. Goodbye.